everyone, and welcome to Library Storytime. So glad you could join me today. Well, the weather's getting colder, and maybe you've had to wear a sweater or a jacket, maybe put on long pants instead of shorts, shoes instead of our wonderful sandals and flip-flops. Yes, indeed, it is fall, and the weather is changing. I thought today we would have stories that feature buttons, clothes. One of my favorites is corduroy. And in this book, it's a little bear with green overalls. But something's missing. And you'll find out what that is in just a minute. And then for our second book, we will read Pete the Cat. And he's got some buttons. Maybe they pop off. So our craft, I thought would be so fun, is a little bear. And you will get a bear that you can color. Then you can put on a, glue on a shirt. Maybe this shirt. You can glue on some pants. And then you can, well, I'll have lots of buttons in your packet. And you can glue on lots of buttons. Here's one that a young person made and gave to me. Look at all the buttons. That bear has lots of buttons. So our craft will combine two stories. We have a bear, which will be corduroy. You might have some googly eyes in there as well. And Pete the Cat with four groovy buttons. You can put four groovy buttons on the shirt and then lots more. You can put as many buttons as you want. So that will be the cup. Make sure you come by and pick it up. It'll be at the Reader's Theater and we'll have that for you. And so let's begin with Corduroy. Maybe you've heard of Corduroy. It's by Don Freeman. Corduroy the Little Bear. Well, this is Corduroy and we're going to meet Corduroy as he sits on a shelf in a large department store with other toys and dolls. Now, in this book, there'll be a word that maybe you've heard of, maybe not, escalator. Do you know what an escalator is? Well, we'll find out. I remember when I first saw an escalator, I didn't know what to do, and corduroy won't either, but I bet you do. So, when we get to that, you'll know that escalator is stairs that move. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department in a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. Do you see Corduroy? There's Corduroy right there among the other stuffed animals and doll. They were all waiting to go home with someone special. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Oh, not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. And besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. Then Corduroy said, I didn't know I'd lost a button. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. So that night when the store closed and all the shoppers were gone, Corduroy hopped down and began searching everywhere on the floor for his button, his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went, 
see, there's the escalator. I bet it looks familiar. You've seen that where you step on and it goes up, up. You don't have to go upstairs. You just stay right there. But Corduroy had never been on an escalator. Corduroy said, could this be a mountain? I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Do you think it's a mountain? It's an escalator, right? Corduroy stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Why, there were tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. Corduroy said, wow, this must be a palace. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Corduroy, is that a palace? That's the second floor of the department store. It has tables, chairs, all kinds of furniture. He wandered around admiring the furniture. Oh, this must be a bed. He said, I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large mattress. And all at once he saw something small and round. It was attached to the mattress. Wow, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up, but it was already attached to the mattress. It was tied down tight. So Corduroy pulled, and he pulled. Can you pull? He pulled, and he pulled until pop. Off came the button, and off went Corduroy landing onto the lamp and knocking it over. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going around checking all the floors when he heard the crash, and he came down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He took his flashlight and looked. And there, under the blanket, was some little ears, a fuzzy brown ear, sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf with the other stuffed animals and dolls. Oh, Corduroy was very tired from his adventures that night. He was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. So Lisa's going to buy corduroy. When Lisa went to check out and pay for corduroy, the lady said, would you like me to put him in a box? Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs to her family's apartment and went straight to her very own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers. And alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed, just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. But Corduroy said, Ah, this must be a home. I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened 
And so she sewed on the button. Now Corduroy has a home and his buttons on his overalls so he's more comfortable. And <clears throat> Corduroy thought, oh, you must be a friend. I've always wanted a friend. And Lisa said, me too. And she gave Corduroy a great big hug. And that's the wonderful story of Corduroy. Corduroy found a home and he even got a button sewed on his overalls. And with the craft, you can put buttons on your corduroy too. But how many buttons does this little bear have? One, two, three, four. Four buttons. Four groovy buttons. And that leads right into, I know, he's your favorite cat. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Story by Eric Litwin. You know Pete the Cat from his uh, white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Well, this is his four groovy buttons. And look at all those buttons. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. By Eric Litwin. There's our friend Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. He loved his buttons so much he sang this song. It goes like this. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Sing along with me. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? You're right. Three, because four minus one equals three. Three. One, two, three. Look at Pete. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. Guess what it was? You're right. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? You're right. Two. Because three, see there were three and one popped off, minus one equals two. And there's the number two. But did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. Oh, do you know what it could be? That's right. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Pop. Oh, no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Right. One button. Because two minus one equals one. If you had two buttons and one popped off, you have one 
left. One. Did Peep cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. And you know what it was. My button, my button, my one groovy button, my button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop. Oh, no. The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? You're right. Zero. None. One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt because all the buttons had popped off. And what do you think he saw? He looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? He saw his belly button. And he kept on singing his song. He saw his belly button. And the song went like this. My button, my button. Still have my belly button, my button, my button. Still have my belly button. And I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. So we keep on singing our song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. And that's Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Pete the Cat. Excellent job, Pete. We're going to put Pete right there. And we're going to have our little bear, which could be corduroy, and our buttons, which we'll think about Pete the cat when we put the buttons on. And you can come and color your bear, put his clothes on, put some buttons on, and some googly eyes, too, if you like. So thank you today for watching Library Storytime. Have a great rest of your day and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.